724 Pan Am record in the distance third best time in the world this year wall in four two Canadians in five and three Catherine Savard and Noemi Thomas two lengths of the pool to determine the color of the medals in the women's hundred fly Speed and power is the name of the game here. Worrell's got a very good start, and she's showing it right there. She came out in front, probably about a half a meter in front of the field. She's got blazing speed out, but more importantly, she's got a great second half of this 100-meter butterfly. And I do say she came from nowhere, Steve, because this is a huge world-class performance. She's doing in the morning heats. Catherine Savard of Canada got a good start, too, as they head to the wall. They will touch, turn over, and have less than 50 meters to go now in the women's 100 fly. Savard, DePaula, and Wolf. And now, look at that. Look, look over underwater by Savard. Her turn wasn't quite as good as Wolf. However, Savard has the experience. But here comes Kelsey Wolf with that powerful second leg. She is really striving to get back to the wall. The 21 year old from Mount Holly, New Jersey, has a slight lead on Savard right now. A few meters to go. Less than five as they come to the wall. And it is. Kelsey Worrell of the United States. The U.S. have made it six in a row in the 100 fly in the women's event. A great race from Kelsey Worrell. Second place to Canada's Noemi Thomas and third place to Catherine Savard of those two hug. So the Canadians come away with silver and bronze, but solid gold is that woman, Kelsey Worrell of the United States, the 21-year-old from Mount Holly, New Jersey. She burst on the scene at the NCAAs. Notice how high she went on that dive. You'd think that actually would hurt her and she'd go too deep, but she streamlined so well that she'll come up in first. Look at that, just ahead of everybody else. National NCAA champion for the University of Louisville, the oldest of six children. Now watch her underwater again. Savard touched first. Savard's actually angled over, likes to kick on her side, and she's looking over, knows exactly where she is, breaks the surface, but Worrell actually broke ahead. Right here, Worrell's got no choice because she's taller to kick into the wall. She wasn't quite on a full stroke, but it didn't hurt her. You've got to time the wall. Thomas at the bottom, Savard at the top. Savard went for it, but she ran out of gas at the end. Worrell was dying, but she's got a little bit more power and was able to get to the wall for the gold medal. A little bit of an experience, I think, for Worrell. As we said, she was injured, she was sick, because she went slower in the finals tonight than she did in the preliminaries. So I think that'll come with experience. Watch out.